Is there an app for that? If you're anything like me, that is most likely one of the first questions you will think of after ripping open the packaging on a new device. Half of the fun is getting that new piece of equipment and personalizing your settings. In our day and age, this is most likely done through apps. Many of them allow you to not only make sure you're set up correctly, but also allow you to actually control the device remotely. With the advent of smart home devices, this is starting to be seen more and more. But what about when you need this functionality while filming? Today, we are going to be briefly reviewing the apps available for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera in 360 seconds. As always, make sure to subscribe below and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all of our content. So which devices are the Blackmagic controller app even available for and where can you find them? Let's start by taking a look at the devices from tech giant Apple. Blackmagic has actually created their own free app for Apple, which is already super convenient. The downside to this free app is that it only works on the iPad. Now, most Apple people I know have just an iPhone. So if you're also one of these people, there is another app called Bluetooth Plus, which which is $5.99 in the App Store. By all accounts though, this price is worth it due to the fact that it is more accessible for most Apple heads with connectivity available on iPhone, iPad, and actually Apple Watch. I'm going to keep my focus on that Bluetooth Plus app today. What about options for those anti-Apple folks like me out there? At the time of this video, there does not seem to be an app developed directly by Blackmagic for Android devices. But despite this, a quick search on Google Play gives you a couple of options from third-party developers. In fact, I'm actually using this app for making this video today. The most popular and well-reviewed app from the bunch is from SayEffect Tech Solutions, which costs $6.99. From the look of things, this app is available for both smartphone and tablet devices. Of course, it is not a huge shock to any of you that Android devices come in a billion different ways and from a bunch of different manufacturers that are all able to work on the same device. Connecting to the Bluetooth Plus app on your iPhone to your Pocket 4K is pretty simple. After you get your Bluetooth Plus downloaded and launched, you'll be presented with the pairing home screen. Now go to your camera and open up the menu. To get the setup screen, hit that arrow on the right three times. Put the Bluetooth toggle into the on position. At this point, you will see on your iPhone that the app is searching for devices. Once you see the information for your camera up here, click connect. Here you will be asked to connect a pairing code which will be visible on your camera's display. If you see the first setting screen on your iPhone after putting in the pairing code, then you have successfully paired your devices. For an Android device, the pairing steps will be pretty similar. Get the app opened and then turn on the Bluetooth and the camera setup. You will be directed to the list of devices available to pair on your Android. Select your camera from the list and then go back to your app. And then you're going to go ahead and add in a pairing code here as well. Once the app is finished auto-syncing with your camera, you are good to go. At this point, you might be asking yourself, why do I need this app for functions and settings that already exist on the camera? Don't most apps just give you the bare minimums anyway? We all have been burned by the limited functionality of apps in the past. But what functions come through with this app? Let's run through a list for each of them. Maybe there will be something here that you definitely need. Starting again with the Bluetooth Plus app for Apple devices, there are a bunch of available options, settings, and functions. Let's take a look at the list. There is follow focus, start and stop for recording, tint settings, trigger autofocus, off speed frame rates, aperture control, ISO, shutter angle, and power on off. In addition, there is white balance, which includes five additional presets and auto white balance. Another thing that is both fun and helpful is that the app allows you to enter metadata on the digital slate. If you give the app Location date permissions, some of this metadata will even be auto filled for you. With SayFX Android Black Magic app, you get many of the same functions as Bluetooth Plus, some parallel settings, and some completely different ones. These are as follows start, stop, recording, play last clip, manage LCD, frame guides, manage white balance and tint, lens control, manage clip slate information, mobile rotation, rack focus, choosing recording codec formats, and shutter angle and shutter speed. If that sounds like a lot, well, there's actually more. With this app, you can also choose the resolution, frame rate, and dynamic range. You can even manage iris, shutter, ISO, and auto exposure. So I feel like there may be a little bit more functionality on the Android app, and thankfully I already use that. So as you can tell, you can use it, as I'm using on this video, to rack focus as so. And you can also use it to stop recording. <laughs> back on yeah and so you, you can see, turn it on and off which is great when you're filming by yourself like I am currently doing um, 
That way you don't have to get up and turn the camera on and look at it. As long as you have a screen that you can look at and reference while you're filming, very useful to those who are um, filming by themselves. Now, I'm pretty sure you can only do the focusing on um, native MFT lenses. So that might be something to think about when using this app. So this comes down to, do you even need these apps? Really, you are the only one that can answer that question since it does come down to how you are using your camera. Both apps seem to be extremely beneficial to users whose filming setups include gimbals, cranes, and even drones. The Bluetooth connectivity of both allows you to be distanced from your camera and still be able to control the more necessary functions that you will need. Both apps boast connectivity up to 30 feet or 9 meters. As with many tech products though, the best way to truly get a feel for the pros and cons is by going through the reviews of other users. Currently in the App Store, the Bluetooth Plus for Blackmagic has a 4.8 rating, which is pretty respectable. Most users seem to be getting close to the performance that is promised in the description. There seems to be some people that have had issues with bugs and glitches that have cropped up within the past couple of months, which is always pretty typical with an app like this. In Google Play, SayFX Control Blackmagic app has a bit of a lower rating at 3.4 as of the time of this video. Taking a look at some of the more critical reviews, it seems like a handful of users have lost some functionality since the last firmware update. I don't know exactly where that is because mine still operates just fine so maybe that's just a per user issue but part of the most recent updates to the app include improved iris control and this was an issue with the older versions of the app so it looks like even with the drawbacks to the developers are still looking to improve functionality for their users as far as android goes um, overall, these apps can be incredibly helpful, especially if you're trying, again, to film yourself with a Pocket 4K with no one else to nail and focus for you. So, what do you think? If you have any personal experience or insight with these apps, or think I said anything wrong, feel free to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. We love hearing from you. Thanks for watching today's episode. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up to date with all of our latest content. Until next time, this is John Owens with Frame Voyager.